Hi everybody, Christina Lindley here on Late Night with Lindley. I'm actually having a ladies night episode because tomorrow is the impending ladies event that's highly controversial all the time, always. I got to see the ladies bracelet up close and personal today. It's gorgeous with pink diamonds framed by black diamonds, so I'm definitely going to be gunning for that. So I got back to Vegas a few days ago and I actually played the Six Max, which is my first ever live Six Max. I played with my girlfriend Lauren Kling. It was so fun. I had a great time. I got moved to a table where there was a three-way all-in, and a guy tripled up literally to be the chip leader early on, and we were four players short and had to wait about 20 minutes to have new players brought to our table, so it was very interesting. I ended up busting with Ace-10 to Ace-6 all-in pre. It's kind of one of those tournaments where you get a certain amount of chips and you kind of have to go with a good hand and hopefully hold, which I didn't, but that's all right because tomorrow I'll be playing the ladies event. So in the spirit of girly time, I actually went over to Panorama and grinded online on Sunday with Lauren. Uh, We had really deep runs in a couple different tournaments, but no luck. Um, But we had a great time and afterwards we actually ended up going and having a nice dinner. And, you know, it's always great to play with someone so that when you do have bad beats and run kind of silly, it's, you know, easy to forget about it and move on. As far as a ladies event, it's funny because I was actually just talking to Lara Miller and a couple different people and it's very controversial. A lot of people don't necessarily feel like women should be segregated in poker and I actually agree but at the same time I feel comfortable playing ladies events because I'm happy about the fact that women who normally wouldn't feel comfortable playing poker will come into the sport and sit down and play and enjoy their time and I I really feel like you know poker should be something that everyone should feel comfortable with and And, you know, like myself, the first tournament I ever played was a ladies' event, so then I was comfortable moving into the uh, mixed events with men and women. So, I don't know. My personal opinion is I prefer to play non-segregated events, but at the same time, I definitely think that it's good that there's something out there for women who normally wouldn't feel comfortable playing an event with a bunch of guys. Today, I got to interview Liv and also my girlfriend Erica, who you might remember from the first episode, Doc Sands, or David Sands' girlfriend, who it will be her first live event, and Liv obviously is a pro who's been in several tournaments, and I've been at a few. I'm not experienced as Liv and not as new as Erica, so it's a nice little mix of, uh, you know, intermediate beginning and advanced. Hi Liv, hi Erica. Uh, We are here at the Rio and on the eve of the ladies event. Um, Liv, you just actually finished a really interesting sit and go. Why don't you tell us about that a little bit? Yeah, that's right. I I got invited to play in this uh, turbo sit and go for the World Series of Poker Academy. Um, And it was a free roll and the winner gets the last seat into the Tournament of Champions. Oh, wow. So it was like this invite-only thing, and it was, you know, dubbed for sort of players that are considered champions but have never won a bracelet. So right. um, I was very fortunate and, you know, very grateful to be asked to play in it. And the it, only it, woman. Yeah, I was the only yeah, yeah the only girl in it. Um, and it had, uh, yeah, obviously, like, uh, Michael Mizraki, um, Gavin Smith, Sorel Mitzi, Paul Watsaker, Andy Block, Gus Hansen, um... Elky, Don Cheadle, so it was okay. like it was a real lineup, right. um, and yeah, it was a lot of fun. But it was it was pretty quick. Um, you know, I, I could have actually got back in time to play the PLO. But no <laughs> um, well, speaking of Andy Block, you were telling us on the way up here that he he put up a kind of interesting little proposal. Why don't you tell us? Oh well, yeah, well it was just that because um, he you know there was a few players that were still like in events and his right. uh, his um, he was playing the uh, the Deuce to Seven, the 10K, and right. he. Uh, it was restarting, and he was worried that the, the sit and go was going to take too long. So he actually begged us all to reduce the time, the time limits down to sorry, the, the blind levels down to 20 minutes. Right. And then in order to do that, he said, "Look, I'll give you all a free one percent sweat." And we're like, "Ah, right, deal, deal." Done. So, yeah, nice. And then he was like, "When the first one's out." So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, so I mean, I'm, I mean, it was nice of him. So I mean, it's, it's fun. I mean, he's a great player. So yeah. I, I've I've got a sweat of someone in the 10k, which is pretty sick. But, right. Uh, um, yeah, so it was it was a lot of fun. I mean, obviously I'm gutted I didn't win, but I, I couldn't win a race against Gavin Smith. So, oh, yeah, so lovely. Yeah. So um, we just registered for the ladies' event. We actually all three got to have a fun little day off yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, fun. They're both living at Panorama, and uh, why don't you talk about kind of what we did yesterday on our day off? Um, well, I'm actually living at Panorama for the summer. And I uh, was going down to the pool and actually met up with these two ladies. And <laughs> so we just got some sun, pool, got to chat a little bit. And yeah. Just and enjoy the day. Yeah, and you guys remember on the first episode, Erica, with her cute little dog, Coco. <laughs> <laughs> so um, 
you know, you're a pro and you've been in a bunch of different World Series of Poker events. How do you, going into, for example, the ladies' event, feel about the field versus all the other tournaments you've been playing, like the more turbo-type style 1500s? Um, as far as your game, do you change it? Are you more excited because it's women less excited? Um, I'm, I'm excited for the event because... Um, it's not necessarily because it's women, it's just because the general players that are playing in it are more casual players. Sure. You know, there's going to be a lot of beginners, there's going to be a lot of people who haven't played before. So right. for uh, you know, us more seasoned pros, it's, it's, yeah. a great, uh, it's a great spot, basically. Right. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm not, it's not a generalisation that women are better or worse players, it's just that the women that play in ladies' events in general are less experienced. Sure. So it's right. going to be... Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Right. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm probably just going to be, I'm just going to try and become the table captain. Right. <laughs> Immediate. And, yeah. Now, speaking of less experienced players, you, Erica, just started kind of playing with, you know, Dave or Doc, who's your boyfriend, mm-hmm. and um, she's actually done really well online in several deep fields, cool. like the 750k, and you won, you had a, a win recently. Mm-hmm. Um, just a small tournament. Yeah, yeah, but you know, for early on, and it's nice, yeah. this will be your first real live World Series of Poker event. How do you feel? Are you excited? Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited because I've, you know, I've never played in the World Series before, and I come right. here every summer and root my boyfriend on. <laughs> and so it'll be nice to kind of step up and do something on my own. Uh, a little bit nervous because I really don't have much experience live. But I mean, like Liv was saying. It is all ladies. So right. I'm not that nervous in that, in <laughs> yeah. that regard. Don't, and don't be nervous. Not although at all. I haven't played a lot of live, I mean, I live poker because I live Obviously. around poker players. Yeah. And I hear poker. So, I mean, I think it'll be fun and it'll be a good experience if if nothing else. Yeah. Right. Just enjoy it. I mean, that's that's the thing. I mean, it's, it's actually the ladies, my experience playing ladies tournaments, they're actually really a fun environment. Yeah. Because, I mean, they all, you know, everyone's chatting. Everyone, you know, I mean, you hear sort of all sorts of conversations. I had people <laughs> comparing handbags, like, in the yeah. middle of yeah. It's like, oh, God, yeah. really? Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, it's, it's just a fun, you know, it's a fun laid back environment. Yeah, I think they got like a thousand runners last year. So, it's yeah, gonna I think be, it was like 11 to 1200. So, it might even be more. So, maybe yeah. 1500. Yeah. So it'll be good. Yeah. So after we finished wrapping with Liv and Erica, we actually got to go shopping at the forum shops at Caesars to pick up a little something something to wear at the ladies event. Kind of girly, I know, but you know, if you're gonna play a ladies event, you might as well look cute. We'll see how it goes tomorrow. I'm hoping that I'll end up at the final table with a couple of my good friends, which I think we're all plus EV, specifically in this tournament. Looking forward to that, and thanks for checking out this episode of Late Night with Lindley. We've got a lot of really good fun stuff coming up, including moonwalking, paintball (laughs) fights, and uh, indoor skydiving. So be sure and check out the next episode, and I will keep you guys up to date with everything going on at the ladies' events and all the tournaments following the World Series of Poker. 